What is up guys, Akers here with another very exciting Black Ops editing tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how to create this really nice colour correction within After Effects. So as you can see on the example I've got here, we've got this really nice film look going on, kind of a moody film look, atmosphere going on with this colour correction. So let's head on into After Effects and see what we can do. So we've opened up After Effects now. And what I'm going to be using for this colour correction, and what I use for all my colour correction within any of my videos, it's an external plugin called Magic Bullet Lux. Now, what Magic Bullet Lux is, it's an external plugin, and basically, what it is, it is a plugin for After Effects, but it has its own separate interface so it's completely different as you can see we've got a completely different screen away from After Effects here and then what we've got is a bunch of really nice colour correction tools and and examples so if you haven't downloaded Magic Bullet Looks yet head on over to Google type in Magic Bullet Looks I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere <laughs> I'm not saying nothing by that, but that's all I'm saying. So once you've downloaded and installed it, what you want to do is head on into After Effects, import your clip. So once you've imported your clip all ready to go and colour correct, you want to go to Effect, go down to Magic Bullet, and then Looks. And then once Looks is added, all you have to do is click Edit. And now we're back into this interface. So first off, to create this sort of moody film, dramatic atmosphere look, what we're going to do is first off, if we go over to the sidebar in Tools, and under Post, we want to just drag Lift Gamma Grain. It's this one right here. It's called Lift Gamma Grain. All you have to do is drag that onto your clip and it's done. So for this top colour chart here, what we want to do, we want to have it sort of a really light blue sort of colour. We still want to have it kind of white, so around that colour will work. So for the second colour chart down, what we want to do is we want this one to be quite blue, so you can start to see the blue coming in there now. And then the third colour chart down, what we want is, we want it to be really sort of orangey yellow. More orange than yellow. So yeah, around there looks good. So you can see now, we've already started to get this, this really nice sort of dramatic look. And then the next thing that we want to add is if we curves. So under post, if we just drag curves over to this. And what we want to do with curves is basically what curves is, it allows you to adjust the light levels. So you can see if we're moving this up and down, if we move it down, it gets darker. And if we move it up, it gets lighter. So what we want to do with curves is. We just want to try and make this really nice arc effect. So bring the bottom two down a little bit. And then bring the top two up a little bit. So you can see we create this really nice smooth curve. And the next thing that we want to add is if we go over to Matt, which is the second from the left, and all we want to do is drag Diffusion over. And you can see what diffusion does. It adds kind of a nice glow around the edges. So if you see on the example, we've got this nice glow coming from the lights. So what I encourage you to do is play around with the colours yourself. There's a lot to work out with. Like Expect a lot more colour correction tutorials because there's not just one colour correction. There's loads of different ones. So I'll be coming out with a lot more colour correction tutorials. So back to this one, the next thing that we want to add is 
if we go over to lens what we can do is edge softness and what that does that just creates this really nice blurred look around the edge of the film if we just grab this we can make it either really really blurry or I just like to have it just a teeny weeny little bit on the edges I mean I really don't like to over blur the image that much so I just like to have it on the edges just a little bit because you don't want it to be over too overpowering and for you not to be able to see the clip that you're working with so just a little bit of blur on the outside will will do good and then the next thing that we want to add under lens is a vignette and then you can see what the vignette adds a really nice effect straight away and you can drag that down if you want it to be in the centre but once again I just like it to be very subtle hardly noticeable at all really cool so there we go that's pretty much this kind of effect I mean I know it's a little bit different to this one but I think we've got a little bit more colours coming out in this one so yeah let me know what you think let me know if this is something that you'd like to see if you'd like to see more colour correction tutorials um, so yeah thanks a lot thanks for watching really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thanks a lot see you later